Life is an adventure in the great outdoors. I live to be here. Growing up and still having fun. Jack's outdoor gear. So this is your shell garment. It's going to block out the wind and the water, which is what you need, especially if you're going to be in a cold, windy, wet environment. It doesn't have to be this shell specifically, but something that's going to be waterproof and windproof to give you that protection. It doesn't need to be insulated. It can be something that is thin, um, like a raincoat or just a shell item. And that goes the same for your pants. These are non-insulated um, ski pants. So they all should have hoods so you can protect your head. Storm flaps, waterproof zippers so that no moisture will come through the, this garment. Your second layer, this is your top layer. This is going to be your insulating layer. Many different things can be used for this insulating layer. This is actually a down, a light down jacket. Um, so it can be used as an outer piece or an inner piece. It is not waterproof, so you want to protect it from any kind of water. It is windproof, however. Um, and this is going to be very warm, very light, packable. You can take it with you anywhere you go. The fleece that I'm wearing can also be used as a mid-layer. On the bottoms, if you take away these pants, then I have the insulating layer on the bottom, which are a fleece pant, and it's made out of the same material that my jacket is made out of, which is a recycled polyester. And that's going to be an insulating layer on both your top and your bottom. The third piece that you need is probably one of the most important pieces. It is your base layer. And the reason why your base layer is so important is due to the fact that that base layer is the, is the key piece that is going to keep you dry. Everything should breathe. Everything should wick. The, mo the most important thing you want to remember is that cotton kills. You don't want to wear cotton out into a wet, snowy, cold environment because it is such an absorbent fabric that when you begin to sweat or you get hot, the, that cotton absorbs all of your sweat and it just holds on to it. And then it gets really cold and then when that garment is cold, it takes the heat right away from your body. That's that conduction that we talked about at the beginning. That's why it's so dangerous. You really just want to stay away from cotton if you can. This is a polyester base layer that I have. She has tops and bottoms. And these are really important because polyester <coughs> is a very um, wicking fabric. And so it is going to allow for your body to get hot and it's going to wick away moisture so that it's not staying next to your skin. When you're choosing a base layer, that's really an important question you want to ask the associate. Does it wick? If it does, then it's something that you can consider. Many fabrics will wick. There's polyester, which is what I'm showing you here. There's wool, and there's also silk. And um, just as a second reminder, just really stay away from any kind of cotton because that is going to be one of those things that puts you in danger. So one of the questions you may ask yourself when you're looking for these pieces, especially when it comes to base layers, there are so many options available. Really, what is going to fit your needs? And you want to ask yourself a few questions um, in order to find the best garment that will fit your needs. Number one, what are you going to be doing? Are you going to be um, sitting and then moving, sitting and then moving like a downhill skiing environment? Are you going to be cross-country skiing where you're on a constant movement and you're going to be creating a lot of body heat? Or are you just going out and taking a short walk and sitting and kind of being outdoors but not doing much activities? Maybe you're going to sit at a football game. Whatever it is the activity that you're trying to get ready for, you have to consider how hard is your, gonna, your body going to be working. The higher the aerobic activity, really, the thinner you can go on the base layer garment because your body's going to be producing so much body heat that really the main purpose of this base layer is not necessarily to insulate you because your body is already going to be quite warm. It's to wick the moisture away from your body so you're not getting wet from the sweat you're producing from that activity. The more mild the activity, the more stop and go the activity, or the sedentary the activity is when you can go up to a heavier weight. So if you're going to be sitting at a football game, go with heavy long johns, something that's fleecy, something that is going to be thick, that's actually going to provide you with some insulation, not just a wicking material. If you're going to be somewhere in between, you want something that's going to be um, warm enough, but also has a wicking layer like a 
Patagonia Capoline 3 is a good stop and go long underwear for going up to the ski slopes. It's going to wick moisture, but it's also thick enough that it's going to provide you with some insulation.